Well, doctors say in the world of vaccine development, two years is really a blink of an eye. Yeah, but when faced with the coronavirus, what we saw was a tremendous acceleration of that timeline for developing vaccines. Emma Jerome live this morning after speaking with experts on what the future of vaccine development will look like. Emma? Good morning, Ken. Emily, the first thing to know is the reason that COVID vaccines were created, and that was to tackle the original strain of COVID, the one that popped into America back in 2020. And then variants happened, and doctors recommended we get boosters because we could re-up our antibodies if we got another boost of that vaccine. But none of these vaccines nor their boosters were created for different variants like a flu shot would be. And this is what is happening now. Variants are creating what doctors are calling a moving target when it comes to the vaccine. And they say moving forward, we basically have two options. We can either keep chasing the variants and creating new vaccines. But if we were to make an Omicron variant vaccine right now, it would probably not be effective against the new variant that might pop up by the time it's completed. And the other approach that's being looked at seriously is a universal vaccine to cover all different coronaviruses. I asked Dr. Marcel Curlin, he's the medical director of occupational health at OHSU. I asked him how far away is this universal vaccine? In the current era, who knows? Because it might be uh, a lot faster than that just because of the amount of resources that are being poured into this question. And also because we have a much more developed suite of research tools already are seeing some phase one studies on a universal vaccine for coronavirus and his guess is that we are three to four years away from seeing something promising in the meantime what's going to be expected or what's going to be recommended for us is it going to be more coronavirus boosters is it going to be a different sort of vaccine well i asked dr curlin coming up in the next half hour you'll hear his thoughts reporting live from ohsu this morning emma jerome coin six news very interesting and